Good morning, Catania. Good morning. Good morning, DJ. Good morning and welcome to Ireland. This is Ireland. This is near where I live in Cork. And I'm going with my dog, Louis. Hello there. Hello. Night hiker. Hello. Good. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is exceptional. And I'm really looking forward to showing you the greening of the wood. Now, some of these trees obviously are evergreen, but more of them are deciduous. And it's amazing how quickly the green leaves have come on the trees here. So, my name is Paul and good morning from Indiana. Wow, we imagine from Indiana, United States. Fabulous. <clears throat> Manuel, hello. No, we've had water recently, we've had rain, but we are blessed. Yesterday was a lot of yesterday, not all of it. A lot of yesterday was superb. Some of it was also superb, if you like the rain. And uh, this wood is uh, managed by an organization called Quilta, which is really a state organization. The woods are owned by the people of Ireland, as far as I know. And uh, it's a great little walk here for three and a half kilometers. You're finally warming up too in Indiana, right? <clears throat> Night hiker, I'm going to do my best to remember that you're in, in Indiana. If only I had a, you know, database so I could just the minute somebody came on on Periscope, I could literally wink through at my glasses and it would call up a profile. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Google glasses, Google glasses, the way they were. Anyway, never mind. Never mind. How is Milan today? I'd like to know. How is Milan the weather? I mean, now here's the big question. Do I go left or do I go right? Italy, it's a work day. Here in Italy, tomorrow is a work day. Tomorrow is a, when you say a work day, I mean, you'd expect Tuesday to be a work day, wouldn't you? I don't quite understand. I'm sure I'm misunderstanding. Do I go that way? Or do I go this way? Now, where, which way would anybody like me to go? I'll take the very first suggestion. Uh, do I go left or do I go right? Go to the left, right. Okay, we're off to the left. Now I'm gonna turn the screen. I've never done it this way. I've never done it this way before, and I really want to find out whether this is a better way to do it. Actually, you can give me feedback. Is the uh, user experience okay doing it this way? In fact, if it is, you know, if it's not as good, tell me. If it's better, tell me. It's, I think it's better for if I was really organized, I'd put these on YouTube. I put one on YouTube the other day. Oh, I have to remember something. I have to remember to make sure that this is saved on the camera roll. It's fantastic. Oh, that's great. Labor Day. And if you're home from work and now I'm home even. Okay, great. <clears throat> The interesting thing from my uh, experience here, looking at it in landscape, your keyboard isn't covering any of the video, right? Is that good, is it? I think maybe that is good. I'm not sure, don't fully. But the interesting thing is for me, as I walk along, your messages are, the longer ones are right across the whole screen, which means that well, it means it's kind of easier to read, I think. So this is the place. This is where I, I am. I'll just say hello in a, 
Okay. How do you do? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to this world. Hello. Ah, oh, sure, look. Aren't I the lucky man that I know as some of you, that I know two of you for sure, um, reasonably fr from our frequent contacts. <clears throat> it's a little windy and it's, it's a good thing there's an ocean between us. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know what that means, but it, it made me laugh anyway. Ah. Ah. I was talking with some people about Periscope the other day, and uh, it seems, you know, I love Periscope, and I have a, I've always had a very good experience on Periscope. I mean, and, and of course, the, the thing that, and the thing that people say uh, are that there are lots of trolls and people come on and they say horrid things and they, all that sort of thing. Sing my videos, cheer me up, oh good. Oh, that's lovely, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. And I, I was thinking about this in terms of uh, my, if my experience is so good on Periscope, it's a terrible shame that other people, some other people, have had a very negative experience. In fact, all the people that I have been told have had a negative experience on Periscope are women, which is a terrible thing, really, that they should, you know. I mean, the, the, the people, I'm going to presume, who are hustling and you know, make it very unpleasant for women are men, and they badly leave our gender down, as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's a real, it's a real uh, letting the the home side down, so to speak. You know, and that's putting it very benignly, but it is actually such a pity that um, men get such a bad name. Some men g give other men a bad name by by their behavior, which is sometimes awful. But anyway, I'm not here to do a rant about that topic. I just, uh, it came into my mind and I thought, right, I'll say something about it on here. Welcome to Ireland. Welcome to walking in Irish countryside. Uh, this is a managed woodland near where I live in Cork. <clears throat> At our age, attention is welcome. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's uh, one of the things people find uh, using Periscope when they come to it first is that nobody watches. And that's the odd oh, is, isn't it? Isn't it? You know, and that's a bit tough on newcomers who start using Periscope because they don't have, nobody knows who they are, nobody, they do it occasionally, and because they just do it occasionally, they don't, you know, anyway, it just turns out to be an experience that they they don't like so much, which is a, an awful pity. It does take a good while to build up uh, and a good regularity. Oh, the screen is getting all bloomed out. Right, okay. Anyway, there we are. This is, the, oh, here. Look. Well, you know when, I remember I was around when Periscope, in the early days of Periscope, 
And there were that idea about, yeah, it's gorgeous. That idea of, you know, get on your bed in your trunks or whatever and sort of ask people to, what was it, give your hearts. Oh, it was just ridiculous. It was, uh, but they were like young kids. And I suppose, uh, I, sp I don't like it myself. Uh, that's all I really can say is, uh, but it can be used for so much good. It really is. I, I regret that I don't spend more time on Periscope. You're from California. My God, you're up late. But your grandmother is from here, Ireland. Oh, maybe you're in Ireland. You're from California. And maybe, maybe that's what, that's what you said. Um, tell me, those of you who, you saw one girl baking cake from scratch. Now that's good. Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. You live in California. Oh, all oh, right. Whereabouts? You love my voice. Thank you. I, I can't really take any credit. It just is the way it is. The um, whereabouts in California, I have several. Fairfield, oh God, I'm afraid I'm gonna ask another question. Near Sacramento, gotcha, gotcha. I think Sacramento, if I'm right, is about halfway up. At least uh, tell, you put me right if I'm wrong. Um, I have, uh, there's Alicia Previn who's on here, uses Periscope a lot. Um, she's lovely Previn. She lives in uh, San Diego. Um, there's my good friend uh, um, Nelly. Uh, um, who uses here? There's uh, Ray Renati in San Francisco. Uh, yeah, there's some others too. I think who do I know in California at one stage? I, maybe I used to know more. New York City, good morning to you. New York City, good morning, yeah. So yeah, Sacramento is considered North California, Northern California, and Fairfield is considered the same. Right, gotcha. So do you say, I know you say SoCal, don't you? Or SoCal, is that is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, do tell me. Um, I know you say South Cal and maybe you say no Cal, do you? Do you say no Cal? <clears throat> Anything south, south of Fresno is so... Pennsylvania, hello Pennsylvania. Hello Juice from Pennsylvania. How do you do? Oh, my dear dog is, yeah, having a good time. His name is Prince Louis, by the way. Some of you might know him as Louis, but he, there was recently a royal announcement in the UK that the new uh, new new baby will be called Prince Louis. So I just take it that this dog Louis is uh, is to be called after the prince. So for those of you who have just arrived, let me say my name is Paul Omani. I'm in Cork in Ireland, and I'm speaking to you. Uh, as I walk through a wood. Fresno's a big city, very gang population, so no Cal, it's not, okay, well, I missed that. Northern California, of course, is uh, right up north, is uh, good for wine, isn't it? I, I think, uh, if I'm right above San Francisco, who's that saying good morning to me? Good morning, Mary Lowry, hello, hello. Yes, it's good for a wine up there, and it goes up into Oregon as well, I think it is. It is a fabulous morning, isn't it? It's one of those days when, if possible, you, you'd be feeling good to be alive. Uh, mind you, you can feel really rotten on a lovely day, and you can feel really good on what you might consider to be a crappy day. Yeah, so... If you want a vacation, fly to the Napa Valley Wine Tours. The trains take you back to back county of a tour, yes. It's, uh, oh, Salish. Did you say Salish? No. Um, 
Oh, good for heaven, then. Good for heaven. See, I think I'm in heaven already, but that's a different story altogether. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I didn't quite s catch which Indian tribe you mentioned. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't get the correct pronunciation. I know it was, there was an S in it. And uh, the dog deserves his own show. <laughs> Am I going to do a town tour? You know what? That's a very good point. I have often any more tasting, Paul? Ah, now look, one gin tasting a month is enough now. I think it'll be a, it could be a while, but you never know. A lot depends upon whether we can get the full run of the kitchen. Oh, I pronounced Salak, oh, I pronounced the tribe correctly. Oh, good. Oh, the challenge for me is how to remember it. I go, I used to do a lot more of going into Cork City and doing um, scopes from Cork City. In fact, I, 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 no, I so much love being out in the woods here, and it is for me a comparatively new experience. I wasn't uh, walking in the wood, or certainly it wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't walking in the woods before uh, the dog Prince Louis arrived. You like the bar tour, yeah? Cork's a gorgeous city. Uh, it, 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 you know what? This iPhone and smartphones, I think, they beautify places. I, I, I walk through Cork and I do think it's a good-looking place. But I look at it on the, on the periscope and on the videos, whatever, and I think, wow, it looks even better than I, than I thought it was. Have you ever had that experience of finding that? The visuals are lackluster, but the audience of you makes this worth paying for. Ah, can you get all the gins in Ireland? No, you can't. There are too many gins to be had altogether. I can't, yeah, the, the visuals will get poorer because it's, uh, um, I think it's because of the signal. Oh, 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 excuse me now. We have to see what's going on back there. Come on, Louis, come on. Oh yeah, we don't want to be having anything to do with dogs that bark, do we, Louis? I have a voice that millions would kill for. No, I don't want them to kill. I mean, die. I, neither do I want them to die. But thank you. Thank you very much. I assure you, I haven't been to voice lessons or anything. It just happens to be a result of the... A result of what I've been exposed to, I suppose. You know, I began with some kind of sound coming out of my mouth when I was... I'm from Limerick in Ireland originally. And then I, I spent my youth, if you like, childhood and youth in Limerick. And then I went to London in the UK in my 20s. And I lived in the UK for 30 years. And then I came back to Cork. I loved the UK, really did, loved it. What's for dinner? Well, I, that's a nice question because last night I cooked dinner. I made, uh, what will I call it? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I, I chopped up some, first of all, I put some lentils on, orange lentils to boil. At the same time, then I chopped onions and garlic into a pan. I put uh, red and yellow peppers in there. I put uh, some um, mild curry from a company called Green Saffron out of a out of a jar. No, out of a out of a, a glass jar. Yeah. Um, I put in no particular order pieces of broccoli. Um, I put um, courgette. I think you have another name for that in North America. Courgette, broccoli, what else went into it? Um, oh yes, tins of tomatoes. Cheers mate, there goes the whiskey. <laughs> well, you're clearly talking about Irish whiskey because you've spelt it W-H-I-S-K-E-Y. But anyway, that, that um, I'm trying to think if I put anything else in it. It had tomatoes, yeah, I definitely did have tomatoes. Um, Oh, it had a little bit of food left over from the night before, which would have had a bit of a coconut in it. 
but not really enough. Oh, I put, I put a dose of turmeric in. I've become very partial to turmeric. Oh, I think there's somebody coming. The dog usually stops. Well, not usually, always stops. When? Hillary! Yeah? Come here. Come here. I bet you there's somebody around this corner coming. He always stops. That's a very good habit. Come here. Excuse me. Come here. Did you see a dog like Terrier there? I didn't. No. No. You, um... Well, I would say that the Terrier didn't come forward because this fella stops when he sees uh, somebody coming. This uh, this guy used to, um, well, still does run off in the woods for five minutes, though. Yeah, yeah. How are, how is yours? What? Uh, they're, well, they're normally good. I had two of them off. Yeah? Are they both? Oh, no, one is white. Is it a Bichon? Yeah, he's, no, he's a Jack Russell, but he's a yeah. haired. But the other one, though, is the other one a, a Jack Russell yeah, as well? Yeah, guy, too, yeah. I'm sure they're very happy meeting each other. No, yeah, I, this guy, he was attacked last year and I think that sort of dented his confidence because sometimes he meets a dog and if he thinks he's a little bit aggressive, he'll just like yeah. attack first and that's not really his nature. But I think it's because of his... Oh, so that must be terrifying area, to be, to have been attacked. I think I'd react very badly if I was attacked. Yeah, Lovely. Okay, Louis, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Go. Nice to meet you. I hope, yeah. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you'll oh, find. I'm sure it is. Isn't it a superb weather? Oh, Isn't it lovely? If I see the dog, I'll tell him to follow you. Yeah. <laughs> so there we are now, guys. That's uh, what you do in Ireland when you meet somebody passing by. I'll let Louis off the lead now. Yeah. Go on. I love these little encounters that you can have. Balin Lee. Do you say cheers? No, you don't really. I picked up cheers because if I did say cheers there, which I could, um, from my time in the UK, it's not, uh, no, it's an English. Louis's a great dog. I, I have to agree, you know, but again, can't take much credit for it because he came to us at the beginning of February um, from a rescue centre, and he's three years old, English setter, and uh, I reckon he's, um, well, I think he was being trained as a gun dog. I haven't got any information about his background at all, but definitely I think he probably failed his training as a gun dog. You bet someone hated to part with him. I'd say so, you know. Your lifetime goal is to move to Ireland. Your grandfather's from there and he told me to move back. Well, I guess that you might even be entitled to move to Ireland. You have a grandfather from Ireland, which means I think you'd be entitled to an Irish passport, which would mean you'd have not just rights of access, you'd have rights to work and everything, I think. Someone might correct me. I mean, for people who don't have, Ireland is a very hard country to get into. You know, it really, it really is. You don't uh, want it easy. I don't want it easy. Well, okay, you have a, if, if that is a response to me saying that, you know, you have it easier than others, um, you have an entitlement, a right, a legal right. If you want to exercise it, it's up to you, but are a lot of, uh... see Ireland um, is a small island off the west coast of Europe and as a consequence as you'd expect off a small island there's a lot of emigration has always been your great great started in Scotland and worked their way you also want to work your way well that's very I mean that's a I think that's a great um a great point of view and a great intention. 
and I wish you every success with it. Yeah, I do remember having very similar feelings myself. As a youngster, my family, my father owned a bookshop and uh, for an assortment of reasons, not all of which were the same as this, I, uh, I wanted, didn't want to take over the business. I'm going to sit down on this seat for a minute. I've been, oh, I've been looking forward to sitting on this seat ever since I started walking around these woods. Um, and it's never been dry enough uh, to sit down. It's always been wet. And uh, so I'm ever so pleased the signal seems to be holding up, or at least the sound is holding up enough. Yeah, he. I think he is a pretty smart dog. He's actually also an incredible, it's a he. You're an incredibly sociable dog, aren't you, Louis? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <coughs> the video's clear. Oh, good. The, um, yeah, Louis is uh, very sociable, very friendly. He, he, yesterday, three friends of my daughter's called to the house while my daughter was out. And I said to them, well, she's not here. She'll be back for a while. Would you, by any chance, like to take Louis for a walk? I'm talking about 12-year-olds. And they... I'm going to move now, because I've I got other things to do as well today. But uh, but they, they took Louis off for a walk, you know. And I tell you one thing. You know, he would go for a walk with any one of you. He really would. In fact, that's... <laughs> I've got such a concern. I've got a dog who would go with anyone. And you kind of think, well, does that mean somebody could easily take him away? It's uh, not what you want to happen, really. Now, I'm beginning to get a feeling that you're, you may be able to see, but you're, you're not really able to comment. So, in fact, maybe you can't even see properly. I think I'll just, so, can you tell me, would you say that its strength, uh, five is very strong and perfect, down to uh, zero, which is nothing, what number would you give it if you can answer? And I guess if you can answer, I, I can take it that it's got to be at least three, but, uh, oh, we're getting a five, I'm not going to stop then, I mean, there's no, uh, I've no wish. My, look at those little clouds. If I get a five, that's, uh, I get a five in Indiana, right? Well, that's good enough for me. Night hiker, you've come on many walks with me. I I'd like to know what your preference is. Indiana, yeah, what's your preference is in terms of landscape or portrait? Which would you prefer? Be very keen to know. Five, that's terrific. That's as good as it gets. Well, so, yes, you look forward to them. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, you, I mean, I'm sure I, I have, I mean, Go, oh, that puts a little responsibility. Cap kill Iron Man in Infinity War. Oh, how interesting. I don't have a clue what that's about. But never mind. It's not important that I understand. Sounds like something from a Marvel comic. Uh, but these are, this is gorse, by the way, those of you who are learning English. Or, this is gorse. Wild grows extensively in the Irish countryside. Could tell you a lot of things about gorse without actually, without being a farmer. This, uh, you enjoy the walks and adventures. Not so much the Toastmasters things, yeah. You, you, well, I am naked, I have no clothes on at all. None at all, you're absolutely right. Good on you for noticing that, yeah. You're obviously a highly perceptive individual who 
specializes in sharing your acute observations with other people? Well said, sir. Where's the dog? The dog is there. The dog is there. Dog's name is Louis, who shall henceforth be called uh, Prince Louis. Night hiker, I don't know if you, did you answer my little curiosity about whether you would prefer it uh, to be landscape or to be portrait? I'm Louis, that's right, L-O-U-I-S, as in um, Louis the 14th, Louis the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. I think there's a Louis the 15th and uh, yes he is a prince yeah he was he he was a prince uh, since the other day you prefer the portrait you like this view now hang on who's who fish and night okay there's a difference there is it true that the irish like to get into fist fights um where's his brother he doesn't have a brother do the irish like to get into fist fights well I'll tell you something, if you can tell me any generalization about the Irish. You see, if I was to tell you no, that wouldn't be true. Because some Irish people like uh, Trump or Obama. Well, look, that's a no-brainer. I won't, uh, you don't need me to answer about that question. Your family must be Irish. So, and there are some Irish who don't like fist fights. A girl or a boy, right? Well, I think you're a boss. Clearly, those uh, you have a whole series of those, uh, this or that, right or left, up or down, in or out, round or about. You know, you have all of those. Either that, or you're a psychoanalyst practicing your free association skills. <clears throat> Louis is a happy dog. Louis is a happy dog, yeah. Well, I think he's happy. How do you tell a dog is happy? If its tail wags and if it... But he's eating his food, he's sleeping, he's friendly with other people. There isn't a, there isn't a growl in him, you know. So this is the Irish countryside, not typical at all. This is an atypical day. It's a... Uh... Oh... I actually, it's the inanity of the politics that I dislike a lot, I have to say. Uh, I mean, the people who come on and they say things like, you know, Reagan or Carter or Obama or Trump. I mean, that's just inane. Um, but it is possible for people to say intelligent things or interesting things, I say interesting things um, about it is a stunning day about politics and I'm I mean some days I would prefer to keep to one topic let's say or not not discuss another topic but by and large I got a fairly open but what some people call politics is uh, shouting at people you know going around saying that other people are stupid and all that kind of thing um, i don't mind if they say you know if they preface what they have to say with i think or i feel because everyone's entitled to think and feel whatever they like other people are entitled to take a totally different point of view so there's no harm in people saying Enough skilled talking on TV. Oh, is there? All right, I don't watch television, so to be truthful, I'm not the best person. Well, I, it's not that I never watch it, but I'm more interested, to be honest, in social connections with people. I do a lot of social audio, and uh, I prefer, actually, to be listening to something that's said by somebody that I know or somebody on a topic that I'm interested in that's coming from a different culture. You know, I'd love to know, for example, the, pens the view in, of a person from Pennsylvania about uh, what, about Ireland. You know, any assumptions, any 
imaginations, any thoughts. I'm very informed about culture things. Oh, God. Well, thank you very much. I think um, that's very uh, flattering, but, well, I won't leave out, I leave out the bot. I could list uh, a, a massive number of, you know, culture-related things that I couldn't tell you anything about. I could tell you quite a bit about opera, actually. I, I have a fairly good... Social media is still solitary. Oh, well, that's not my experience. Now, I have to say that my experience of using social media is that it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, on balance, overall, I think one of the best things that's ever happened in my lifetime has been the development of the internet and the growth of social media. Social media has given uh, me, this is a, I'm coming to you from my own TV station. And in fact, it's an interactive TV station in that I can show you things, I can broadcast if you like. But uh, you can actually communicate back with me in a way that you can't do on conventional TV. So I have my own TV station. I do a lot of social audio, which means that I am podcasting. So I have my own radio station. Hold on a second. Irish people eat potatoes and drink alcohol. That's our history lessons here. I am indigenous to the Americas, and I think Ireland is so gorgeous with wonderful people. Now, that's quite interesting. There you have two, I hope, I think they came from two different people, two contrasting views of Irish. The first thing that comes into one person's head is that they eat potatoes. And uh, now, I've got to say something about the potato eating. The consumption of potatoes in Ireland has been falling at an alarming rate. Yeah, we're a great country for growing potatoes, except we had, except for that extraordinarily devastating famine in the 19th century, uh, which uh, began, well, which was a potato famine. The, um, but the consumption of potatoes in Ireland has fallen. I never had a meal which didn't have potatoes until I was about, whew. certainly I never had had any meal except in France. I always ate potatoes. Oh, sorry, that's what they teach you there. Ah, right. Well, interesting. Those people are really teaching you something about themselves. I mean, most teachers teach you something about themselves rather than something I mean, they teach you what they know. They teach you. You always associate Ireland with castles and beautiful scenery. Well, that's a good association because there are an awful lot of castles in Ireland. Well, some of them are quite small. They're more like um, forts, forts, little little outposts that would have been there, would have been built. Yeah, and uh, large, well, uh, small houses even. A lot of them, a lot of them survive. Scenery is uh, in the eye of the beholder. But I must say, if you want to, if you, want, if you fancy a place that has got green all over the place, Irish scenery is fantastic. You love potatoes, so do I. Keeping you alive right now, can't eat any. Oh dear. Now there's a great question. I like, potatoes can be divided into two types. I'm not talking about the genus of potatoes. I think that might be the right word. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm saying that potatoes are either floweries or soapies. Floweries are potatoes that, you know, when you boil them, the skin cracks and they get all light and fluffy. Or when you, uh, yeah. So they're called uh, floweries. And uh, there are people who, in Ireland who will only eat floweries and they would not eat soapies. Soapies are ones that hold together, have a higher moisture content in them. I love this place.
Okay, to be more specific, I like roosters, particularly good for our baked potatoes. Um, Kerpinks are very good as flowery. Um, oh God, I probably given the impression that because I know two types of potatoes by name that I know many others. I can't remember any others by name right now, but there are, oh yeah, there's gold opinion best uh, reserved for the, the chip shop. They're probably very good for making chips actually. Um, anyway, I, I, I've run out of memory and just telling me I've got low battery. I suspect that this might be the low point of reception. Do you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I am actually going to stop. I'm going to say goodbye to you because it's a bit um, ropey the connection. And anyway, I've had a we've had a lovely time in each other's company. Thank you ever so much for everything. Say bye-bye and I uh, wish you all the best.